It would cost you more to go to certain beaches in Rhode Island this summer. Dum Governor Dan McKee proposed his $11.2 billion state budget today. However, major changes are likely after the president's relief bill was signed into place. 12 News reporter Sheena Lasciuto is here now with a detailed breakdown of the budget proposal. Sheena? Yeah, that's something we have to remember. Governor McKee himself says this budget proposal could change since more money is on its way. He says the proposal focuses on rebuilding and recovering after the pandemic. From possibly charging people more to go to the beach to a proposed plan to legalize marijuana, Governor Dan McKee's $11.2 billion budget proposal is now public. And bring our state together. His administration says it focuses on recovery. The proposal would set aside $30 million from the Coronavirus Relief Fund for grants to support local businesses. Small business support has been a very key uh, discussion item of this budget. The small business community has lost a large amount of uh, retail sales over the course of uh, the last year. It also includes a proposal to build a new $65 million long-term care facility on Eleanor Slater Hospital Zamborano campus in Burrillville. But that would mean consolidating other sites and eliminating about 100 jobs. The union representing some of those employees possibly impacted says they have some concerns, sending us this statement. Council 94 is fully supportive of Governor McKee's emphasis on ensuring that Rhode Islanders and public employees do not lose their jobs or health care benefits in this budget. However, Council 94 represents over 500 members at the Eleanor Slater Hospital's Cranston campus and Rhode Island Community Living and Supports group homes for developmentally disabled residents. Mickey also has the task of closing a deficit of $336 million. However, with more federal aid on the way, he says these plans could change. We need to pull together and plan carefully to beat COVID-19. And the new fiscal year starts on July 1st. And as always, the budget proposal will still need to get approval from lawmakers at the State House. I'm Sheena Lusciuto, 12 News.